Hello, class. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. How is everybody? Good, teacher. Fine. Good evening. Good evening. Good to see everybody. Um, how was your weekend? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good to see everybody. How was your weekend? You had a good weekend? Yes, yeah, teacher. Yeah, good weekend, everybody, or not so not so good a weekend. How was your weekend, Edgar? Very nice, teacher. Good, good. I'm glad to hear that. Uh, tell me, what did you do on the weekend? Uh, one moment, teacher. Se me va a descargar el, 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 el equipo. Bonita, okay, no problem. All right, let me ask someone else. Uh, Julio Cesar, are you there? Oh, he's still he's still connecting the audio. Yes, How I'm are you? To get ready here. How are you, Julio Cesar? I'm doing good. Just um, to get to the class. Good. I'm glad to be able to uh, have you guys again. Um, how how have you been today? How was your your day at work? Uh, it's going pretty busy right now. So, uh, by the way, I uh, I will be attending to attend work once in a while. Yeah, I see that. I see that you you are in your uniform. Yes. Okay. Well, I'm glad that you are able to connect, to even um, if you are at work. I'm really happy about that. Thank you very much. And and also, teacher, I I want to um, inform you that tomorrow I, I won't be able to connect to class because I will be in another office, and there we don't have internet connection because it's a uh, nearby uh, penitentiary. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, okay. So yeah, but I won't be able to connect tomorrow, but the next day uh, I, I probably will. Okay, uh, well, um, you know, if, if, if you are, po if it's possible for you to connect, um, you know, even for a little bit, that'd be great. Um, you know, and, and uh, if for whatever reason you can't remember that you can uh, also watch the video on YouTube, I encourage you to do that. Okay? Oh, yeah. Yes, I, I sure will. Thank you, though. Okay, let me say hi um, to Manuel. Ah, ¿por qué no te quería estar invadiendo tu clase? Hey, Hi Manuel, how are you? Uh, I'm fine. Good. What did you do on the weekend? Uh, well, uh, the Saturday, uh, I go to work, eight hours, and uh, yesterday. I rest in my house with my family. Uh, only this. Okay, good. You enjoy the weekend? Uh, Saturday, not much. For for go to the work and uh, uh, for me Saturdays I like uh, rest. Rest uh, today. Of course. Well, you know, at least you had uh, yeah. Sunday. Okay. Uh, Sunday uh, in the morning, uh, I go 
to the supermarket. And for, for uh, food the, for the, the week. And all the day, uh, uh, sleeping, sleep, sleeping in my house. And nice. in the night, eat pupusas. Ooh, nice. Did you go? Did you go somewhere special for the pupusas? Uh, what? Did you go somewhere special for the pupusas? Um, favorite, favorite, sale or excuse, I don't, don't understand. Did you go somewhere special for the pupusas? Uh, no. And anyway, nowhere special. Oh, no. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right, guys. Uh, well, before we begin, let me take attendance um, so that we can get that out of the way. Okay, so just give me a moment here. I'm getting it ready. Okay, so let me begin. Um, the first one, do I have Alejandra Maria? No, not here, Alejandra Maria? Okay, um, Andres Giovanni. Present teacher. Okay, wonderful. Oh, just a second. Se me acaba de reiniciar. Okay, there you go. All right. Um, oh. I think se me fue otra lista. Give me a moment. Semi photo. Okay, um, mientras esperamos que se me actualice la lista. Eh, chicos, quería mencionarles algo. Les voy a decir en español para que no haya ninguna confusión. Estaba revisando el sábado eh, a las 11 de la mañana, como les había prometido, eh, y resulta que noté que no todos me habían complete, completado en la tarea, mucho menos el metro. No sé si tuvieron algún problema. En mi caso, teacher, ya terminé y también el mita. Ah, ok, ok. Completé, lo completé ayer. Ah, Estuve bien, okay. enferma, pero sí, ya, ya, ya lo terminé. Ok, lo, o sea, que este fin de semana lo hizo. Ok, vaya. Uh, yes. Ok, ¿hay alguien más que lo haya hecho después del sábado a las 11? Que, haya que después que yo revisé. Uh, teacher, en el caso mío, tengo pendiente hacer el mid midterm. De ahí las tareas homework y ya están hechas todas. Eso lo voy a hacer ahora, el midterm. Okay. Vaya, perfecto. Uh, sí, porque en yo mi caso, les... teacher. ¿Mm? Sí, sí, dígame. Porque las tareas ya están, ya están hechas. 
solamente me falta mil. ¿Y qué le falta? Eh, la prueba. Ah, ok, el midterm. Sí. Ok, ok. ¿Y los demás? Teacher, yo en mi caso lo hice, lo hice todo el sábado, solo que a la hora que estaba haciendo el, el, el examen, tuve una desconexión y me volví a meter para hacerlo. No sé si hubo, hay algún problema con, con eso a la hora de, de que se mandó la nota. Um, voy a verificar, Marvin. Y voy a ver si... Um, si Sí, ya le, le verifico a ver si qué habrá pasado. Ok. Ok. Bye. Ok, gracias. Ok. Uh -huh. Bye, chicos. Vamos a hacer una cosa. Necesito con urgencia que me terminen tanto la tarea, la número dos. O sea, bueno, te, que to, todas las tareas ahí para poder completar la, la, la nota número dos y también el metro. Entonces, vamos a hacer una cosa. No les voy a dejar nada de tarea hoy pero con el fin de que me terminen todo lo que tiene que haber terminado, que es el, eh, las tareas y el metro. ¿Estamos? ¿Les parece yes, bien? Teacher. Ok, teacher. Yes. Thank okay. you. Okay. In my case, it's done. Ok, very good, excellent. ¿Alguien más? Algún, ¿Alguien más que, que tenga algún inconveniente, un problema, pregunta? Okay, bye. Yo ah, tuve un problema, teacher, porque no tengo internet en mi casa eh, y ahorita estoy en el trabajo, no tengo cámara disponible porque estoy en el ordenador de, de mi oficina. ¿Está ahorita en su oficina? Sí. Ah, ok, y no tiene cámara. No, aquí no tengo cámara porque el, el monitor no tiene. Uh -huh. Ok, entiendo, entiendo. Ok, entonces, um, bueno, eh, pero, pero sí ha podido trabajar en la plataforma. Eh, pues no había podido, pero me habilitaron ahora porque está restringido el internet acá y tenía, se me arruinó mi celular y también tenía problemas con, con el internet residencial, por eso no me pude conectar desde mi casa. Okay. Le expliqué a Hazel, me llamó y le expliqué que supuestamente el sábado me iban a venir a hacer la reconexión, pero no la vinieron a hacer a mi casa, no la llegaron a hacer. Ok, entonces ahorita no tiene nada de, de internet en su casa. No, en mi casa no tengo conexión. ¿Y en el trabajo será que puede, puede hacer el, el trabajo ahí en su trabajo? Sí, aquí sí, me lo, me lo habilitaron para que pueda ingresar a la plataforma. Ok, perfecto. Va, entonces, ¿cree usted que podría ya tenerlo listo para mañana? Sí, de hecho hoy en la noche lo voy a terminar. Perfecto, ok, perfecto, entonces hagamos así. Va, ok, ya tengo otra vez la lista, así que voy a pasarla nuevamente. Eh, que nos quedamos con Edgar Menjibar. Oh. <coughs> Present teacher. Present. Wonderful. Eh, Elsie Janet. Present teacher. Great. Uh, Fabiola. Present teacher. Great. Um, Francisco Javier. Present teacher. Great. Um, Irene Azucena. Irene Azucena. Okay. Um, Jennifer Magali. Present. Great. Um, let's see. Uh, Josué Alberto. 
Present teacher. Great. Uh, Julio. Right here, teacher. Excellent. Um, uh, Carla, uh, did I say Juan, Fran, Juan Francisco? No, see, I mentioned already. Um, Carla Cano? Carla? Carla Cano? No? Okay, um, Carla Noemi Lopez. No, Carla Noemi Lopez. Okay, uh, Manuel Alejandro. Present teacher. Perfect. Um, Manuel de Jesús. Manuel Jesus, can you hear me? Presente. Present. Okay, perfect. Mariela de Los Angeles. Present. Thank you. Um, let's see, uh, Marvin. Present teacher. Great, Werner. Now Warner's not here? Okay. Soyla Noemi. No, Soyla Noemi. Okay. Suleima. Present. Suleima okay, thank you. All right, guys. Well, okay, well, guys, thank you very much for being on time. Um, and we're going to start our, our class here. Uh, first of all, the first thing I'm going to ask you to do, um, just give me a moment. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys, so the, um, to begin our class, uh, let's do a little bit of a review of what we saw last class. Um, tell me when you can see this. Can you see it? No, teacher. Not yet? Not yet. I can see it. I can see it. Yeah, now you can see it? Yes. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, so today is, uh, well, we're, today is the beginner four. It's day November 11th. The date is Monday, March 15th, 2021. Um, so, um, just give me a moment. Okay, there you go, that's better. All right, so um, let's begin first of all. Uh, last class, I asked you for homework um, to complete some questions. I don't know if you remember. Um, so I asked you to complete this one here. Okay, remember I asked you um, to make six polite questions starting with what can you, when could you, where can you, how could you, who can you, and why could you. So those are uh, polite questions using can and could. So uh, what I want you to do right now, we're going to be um, dividing you guys into groups. And I'm going to ask you to work with your partner. You're going to be interviewing your partner 
with these questions, okay? And not only are you, gonna, are you going to interview your partner, but you're also going to be writing their answer. So I want you to uh, write down their partner's answers, and also you're gonna be answering your partner as well, okay? All right, so are we ready? Okay, so I'm going to make uh, the breakout rooms. Just give me one moment while I make that. All right, guys, you have been invited to your groups now. You can join your groups. Uh, yeah. Guys, uh, any questions? Magali. Hi. Hola. Any question? Questions, uh, please. Teacher, uh, I don't don't clear uh, lo que tenemos que hacer. No me está muy claro. Uh, for homework, you were supposed to uh, write polite questions. You're going to now ask uh, Francisco Javier those questions, and then you're going to write the, his answers. Like this? Um, yes, but those are not the questions. Mm -hmm. Those are not the questions. Okay. This. Mm -hmm. Can I call? Yeah, exactly. Did you do these questions for homework? No. 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 <laughs> Sorry, teacher. <laughs> Not, but uh, right now, we, yeah. <laughs> we do it. Uh-huh, okay. <laughs> Remember, try, always try to, to do the homework so that it's easier for you to work in class, okay? Hello, okay. Irene, welcome. Hello. Hello, Irene. Hi. How are you, Irene? I'm, I'm excellent today. Good, I'm very glad to hear that. I'm very glad. Um, okay, so Irene, right now what we're doing is we're, uh, we are, um, remember this, whole, this these exercise I left for homework? Uh, it was to make correct, polite questions. So what you're gonna be doing is you're gonna be asking your classmate the question. So there, since there are three of you, maybe for example, Jennifer can ask Francisco, Francisco can ask Irene, and Irene can ask uh, Magali, right? All right? Yeah. Right. Okay, so go ahead, interview, and write your, your partner's answers. Okay. Hello, Francisco. Hi, what, can, what can you, what can you do for the friends today? Who? Yes. For your friends yeah, today. Time. That is. Yeah. 
What can you what can you do for your friends that okay? I can do many things. <laughs> okay. Uh, Thanks for my friend. Like hey the you know mm -hmm. I know that seems okay. Uh, Irene, when when could you go to dinner? Um, I can buy a cake. I can buy a cake. These are polite requests. So that means that uh, you're going to be asking your customer, like, can you do this? And then they will say, yes, I can, blah, 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 right? Okay. And what you can do is like ask one at a time. So you can ask, for example, Marvin can ask Elsie, Nancy can ask Marielo, sorry, Mariela, and uh, Mariela can ask Marvin. For example. Okay. Any questions? Mm. No, teacher. It's all clear? Yes. Yes. Okay, good. Pretend that I'm not here. Continue. Okay. Yes, I can buy a cake in sweet. Okay. Palacio de los Postres. Sweet. Yeah, in sweet. Number four. How cold you? How cold you? How cold you? Mm. How cold you? Mm -hmm. How cold you? Uh, how cold you? Como pudiste? Como podría? How cold you? How could you go to the uh, how could you go to the cinema? <laughs> no, no sé. I don't know. How could you Oh, oh. How could you? Uh, how could you live now? Es como cómo pudiste ahora irte ahora? Qué despechado se oyó eso. Ajá. No a question. Es no la question. ¿Cómo cómo podría Llegar, es que sería mejor como ponerlo, como ir a algún lugar. Where can you go to the library, Marvin? Mm -hmm. mm. Go to the library. Uh -huh. How, mm. How could you get out? Uh, mm -hmm. to... Uh -huh. I know, sir. <laughs> uh huh. How you can oh. get a book? 
¿Cómo pudiera conseguir un libro? How could you? How could you? No. Pues podría, ¿verdad? How cold? How cold you buy? How how cold you? You how cold you buy? How cold you buy the the, the shoes? The shoes. For example. You guys have any questions? Yeah. Oh, teacher. Okay. No. Thanks. 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 Um, how cold you buy the shoes? Okay. How cold you buy the shoes? Um, I I call. I call. Uh, I call. I call. Uh, I call by for for email uh, for email uh, and in internet. Uh -huh. uh, I call by uh, for for email for the internet. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Te cuida de teacher eh, online. Eh, I call by for online. I could buy what? What was the question? Eh, how how cold you buy the shoes? Eh, is the question. I Eh, la respuesta sería I call I call by, by for email. Um, okay, yeah. Uh, email yes. or online. Eh, online. Or online. I, uh, I would say um, uh, like it would be more online, not by email. Okay. okay. I could buy for online. 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 Okay. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Any questions? Who can you? Uh, the, uh, no, who teacher. Can Who can you? Who, uh, who can you send how, one phone? How how can you go to home? Who can you send one phone? Podría ser una pregunta. Who can you sell vender? Ah, send. 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 De vender. Send. Send. Ah, sell. Sell. Okay. Ajá. One, sell. Eh, one phone. One phone. Eh, Samsung podría ser. Digo, oh, eso. No sé, can you pregunta. sell a ah, cell phone? Uh -huh. Send the cell phone. Ajá, sell. Okay. Cell phone. Who can you cell phone? Sir, what was the question? Can you, can you cell phone? We can use the cell phone. We need a verb. Cell phone. Mm -hmm. How can you? No. Or, okay, it says, yeah. how can you? And then what's the verb? Um. ¿Qué verbo quieren usar? Tell. Send. Okay. Sell. Sell what? 
Sell the cell phone. Oh, okay. All right. So sell the cell phone. Yeah. Yeah. Make sure you have the word there, sell. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good. All right. Are we almost finished? Oh. And well, no. one more. Oh. One, one more? question more. One more. Okay, two more minutes. Yes. There are two minutes. Two minutes more. Okay, I'll see you in the in the in the main session in two minutes. Okay. Thanks. As to Fabiola. Easy, how to, please. How to, how to do to get a uh, phone? Oh. Uh, question Are we almost finished, guys? Yes, teacher. We just are reading the questions and with the answers. Okay, perfect. All right. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, okay, so in two minutes. Are you, would you be ready? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, good, good, good. Mm -hmm. okay, number four is, I could do, get a phone. So how are you guys doing? Are we almost ready? Yeah, we're ready. Okay, good. All right, so everybody asked the questions and wrote the answers. Yeah, okay, okay, good, good. Any questions that you wanna ask me? Uh, we have a question about uh, number six. Okay, what is the question? It's correct to use why with cool in the- Is it correct to use what? Number six. Yeah. You, you wanna know if you can use why with could? Yeah. Yeah, you can. Um, you can say, for example, uh, what could you uh, for example, I don't think here or something. <laughs> Why could you we had the same travel. <laughs> <laughs> Why could you prefer to buy a Van instead of a sports car. Okay. Right, and then and then you person would say, oh, yeah, well, you would prefer to buy a van because maybe you have a big family, and um, a sports car you can only um, fit two or three people. The anti suegra. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that, that could be a, uh, an option. All right. Does that make sense? Yes, yes, it does. I mean, we were having trouble. I mean, I was thinking that it didn't make sense using why could you, but if you put it that way, yes, it does make sense. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it depends on how you're gonna say it, right? But yeah, why could you, and then uh, like it basically means like, what would be the reason that you right would... because it, it makes more sense when you use uh how could you right that's why it, it sounds rare when you use why could you yeah but how could you sounds more like uh like um it's almost like it's like you're how could you do that right um it's something like that whereas why could you? Um, it would be like, what's the reason? Right. 
So okay. Does that, sound, does that sound good to you? It sounds good to me. Yeah. Okay, guys, excellent. So I will meet you guys in the main room in just a moment, okay? All right. All right, guys, welcome back, everybody. Um, okay, so I hope you had an opportunity there to discuss with your classmates those questions, and you were able to not only ask the questions, but write the answers, and you yourself be able to answer those questions. Okay, well, today, guys, um, so that's basically to wrap up uh, Unit 2. That will be the end of our Unit 2. And now we're going to be moving on to our Unit 3. And unit three is, uh, the whole unit is talking about customer service. Now, how many of you uh, work in customer service? I have for uh, uh, four, three or four years, uh, so I was, uh, I, uh, I work in, in a call center. Oh, you worked in a call center. That's oh, right. Okay. Was it a call center in English or in Spanish? In English. Oh, okay. Wonderful. Okay. So that's where you got better with uh, your fluency, I guess. Right. That, I, that helped me a lot, I think. Yes, of course, of course. Okay, good. What about the rest of you? How, do you have? Do you work, or have you ever worked in customer service? No, never. So, Irene, never. What about the rest of you? Never. Never. Sorry, Josue. Yeah, I never. I work in the customer service. Either? Okay, what about the rest of you? No, nobody has ever worked in customer service except for when it says that? I work, I work for a um, desk help. It's like a customer service. Sorry, what was that? Uh, sorry, I don't understand. I didn't, I didn't hear you, Francisco. Could you repeat that? Okay. Um, I work for a uh, help desk. Go, it's like that. Oh, uh, a help desk. Yep. Yeah. It's like a customer service. Ah. Ah, okay, okay, that sounds good. Um, and how long did you work there? Three hours. Three years, wow, okay. So that was uh, quite a long time as well. Okay, good. Well, guys, um, if you have, if like, um, if you have never worked in customer service, but in the future, you never know, in the future, you might work in customer service. And this new next unit is going to help you a lot. Right. In fact, you know, in the end, I think everybody in a way works in customer service at work because we always um, try to give our clients the best that we can. Right. So um, and if there's somebody that's not um, that has problems, we try to help them. 
So first thing what we're gonna do, um, let me just show you here our PowerPoint. Tell me when you can see it. All right, can you see it or not yet? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. All right, so here we have the verbs. Um, the first verb is uh, pick up the phone. And I want you guys to repeat after me. So we have pick up the phone. 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 Understand. 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 Explain. 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 Complain. 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 Help. 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 Request information. Request information. information. Get prices. Get prices. Provide one's information. Provide one's information. Provide one's information. Assist. 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 Bye. 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 And call. 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 Receive. Receive. Okay, very good. All right. Any of these verbs, are they not clear for you? Any of these? Complain. Okay, that's a good one. Yeah, complain is actually something very, very common in customer service. What complaint means is that you say to a person that you that there is a problem and that you're not satisfied with either the, the product or the service. That is complaint. Does that make sense? Okay. What do I mean in exactly? So complaint means to say uh, there is a problem I don't like something. Uh, yeah, I want you to solve the problem. Does that make sense? Yes. Complain. Exactly, right? That that's exactly it. Uh, for example, let's say that um, I don't know. Like, um, okay, so I bought, I bought this cell phone, okay? And um, this cell phone, when I, when I started to use it, it was brand new. And when I started to use it, um, it, it would turn off by itself, okay? So I was using it, I was in the middle, and then all of a sudden, the power went off. And it's a new cell phone. So then I would call and I would say, I have a problem with my cell phone. I, you know, it's, it's turning off by itself and it's new, okay? Then there is a problem with the software, right? And so you complain about it. And what you're trying to do is get a solution for that problem. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, good. Any other words that you don't understand? Mm -hmm. Um, uh, number eight. 
Yeah, number eight, number, provide number one's eight. information. Okay, ones is just what the word, I think this problem is here, the word one. And what it just means with one is like somebody's information. It could be your information, his information, her information. It's like when you say in Spanish, el de uno. Okay, so the información de uno. Does that make sense? Any other words that you don't understand? Teacher, uh, the information is, is personal or, or, or the other uh, things? Um, it could be personal information. It could be, not necessarily. But provides one's information means okay. that just say that you provide or you give your information. That could be like your first name, your, your last name. Um, it could be uh, your cell phone number, your email address, et cetera, et cetera. That's provide uh, one's information. Okay. Okay, any other questions? Uh, yes, teacher. Uh, number two, understand. Uh, I know understanding is come entender, but what is the meaning of understand in uh, customer service? Um, well, it just means basically that uh, when, for example, if somebody is in customer service, you are asking the reason for, like you're getting, you want an explanation and the person explains to you the process, then you understand it means that you are able to process the information that the person in the customer service or the customer service agent can give you. Yeah, does that make sense? Okay. Yes. Or it could also be that maybe the customer service, sorry, the customer service representative maybe is asking about the problem and you explain the problem to them and oh, okay, so now they understand what the problem is, right? So it, it could work um, in different ways. Anything else? Okay. Any other words that you don't understand? No teacher. Okay, just um, uh, just a little bit of reminder, this word right here, assist, please do not confuse it with um, like, uh, like asistir a una clase, for example, right? Um, that would, that's actually another verb. How do you say, how do you say asistir a clase in English? Magali, do you know how to say asistir a clase? I don't know. How do you say? Okay, okay, no problem. Uh, let me see. Um, Elsie, do you know how to say asistir a clase? No, teacher. <laughs> okay, okay, no problem. Um, what about Warner? Do you know how to say asistir a clase? No, teacher. No? Okay. Well, it sounds like then the majority of you are not sure about that. All right. So, asistir a clase is a... So, never say assist. Assist to class? You don't assist to class. No, that's, that would be incorrect. What you do, actually, in English, we say... Just give me a second. Just give me a second, guys. I'm going to put this a little bit bigger. There we go. Okay. All right. So we so we never say I'm going. I I I did. For example, you would never say 
I didn't assist to class on Friday. No, we don't say assist to class. We say the verb in English is not assist. Oops. Sorry, I don't know what happened. Let's go back to this PowerPoint. Okay, uh, let me try that again. Okay, so the verb is on assist, the verb is attend. Okay, so you attend class. You can also attend an event. I'm sorry, class. Okay, and then you attend an event. Okay. Um, you can attend um, a conference. You can attend a concert. Okay, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So that means basically attend a class, attend an event, attend a conference. What that means is that you, you go to that event, you go to class, you go to the conference, you go to the concert. Okay, so do not uh, confuse it with the word assist. Uh, the word assist, oops, let me change the color, otherwise you won't be able to see it. No, yeah, I'll line it. Yeah, white should do it. Okay, so um, anyway, um, the word that is closest in meaning in English to the word assist, anybody know a synonym of assist? I think it could be help. Right, exactly. So a synonym of assist is help. Right. Okay. All right, so um, just be careful with that so you do not confuse the verbs, okay? So assist is not assistir, they own that. It's um, assist means to help. So you can, so many times in customer service, you will hear people saying, um, for example, hello, this is Jessica Guerrero. Um, how may I help you? or how may I assist you? Okay, so that's that's a way that they would use it. How may I help you or how may I assist you? Okay. All right, any other words that you do not, that you're not familiar with? No? Everything is clear then? Yes, teacher. Yes, no? clear. Okay, good. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is the following. Over here, we have a two tables, or a, person, a table. Um, one is for customer service. The other one is for customer's representative. Right, sorry, the, sorry, customer and the co company's representative. So what I want you to do is I want you to decide which of these verbs would, or which activities would the customer do and which activities would the company's representative do? Now, there are some that are probably going to be shared between the customer and the customer representative, okay? Um, so in some cases, you may have one verb in both these categories, okay? Do we understand? Yep. Yeah? Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get you guys to work in pairs and complete this table. All right, so let's do that. I'm gonna stop sharing. But before we do that, um, I'm gonna take attendance once again. So let me see, uh, do I have Alejandra Maria? Alejandra Maria, is she here? No? Okay, all right. 
Uh, do I have Andrea Giovanni? Okay, good. Do I have Edgar? Uh, Edgar Alfredo? Present teacher, present. Got it, perfect. Uh, do I have AC Jeanette? Present teacher. Okay, good. All right, do I have um, Fabio? Present. Great, okay. Do I have, um, sorry, do I have Francisco Javier? I'm here. Oh, great, okay, excellent. Um, let me see, Irene Azucena. Present. Jennifer Magali. Present. Great. Uh, Josue Alberto. Present, Chair. Great. Uh, Juan Francisco. Great. Um, Julio Cesar. Present teacher. Excellent. Um, oh. Give me a second. I just lost my list again. Okay, just give me a second. Okay, by the way, um, any questions about the activity that we're gonna be doing next? Uh, what are we doing? I'm sorry, I think I got lost there. <laughs> oh, I was doing I'm, something else. I'm sorry. Um, no, I'm just asking if you guys have any questions about the um, the activity that we're going to be doing in a moment. The activity where you have to categorize the 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 verbs, the the activities. No, no problems? Okay, all right. Okay, okay. Um, guys, just a reminder um, I, that um, I need you guys to always have your camera on, um, if possible at all times, so that um, we don't have any problems, because remember, that is a requirement from Insafor. Okay. Uh, oh my goodness. Just a second, guys. Just let's be patient for a moment. Oh, by the way, guys, um, I wanted to know, uh, while we are waiting for this thing to, to um, upload, um, today I have a space left for, um, yeah, don't, don't worry, I, I'm, I'm, I haven't finished, um, I haven't finished taking the, the attendance, guys, so don't worry about that. I'm still I'm still getting the the um, the list to to um, update. Well, anyways, um, my question is, um, oh my, I just forgot my question. Just give me a second. What was my question? Um, oh my, what was my question? 
<laughs> oh my goodness, I forgot. What was I saying? Maybe if you guys remind me, I'll remember. You said you had space for. Oh, right. The thank after you. Class yes, season. yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I remember now. I have All space right. um, after class today if somebody wants to uh, change their. Um, their day so they can um, they can stay today. Uh, anybody would like to do that? Would anybody like to change their day and stay today? Anybody that have, has obviously not not passed already. No, nobody, nobody interested. Um, so that we could we can accommodate uh, there because Marvin wanted to um, see if uh, maybe we could um, uh, change his his date. So maybe somebody could volunteer their space so that Marvin can have their space and that person can go today. Anybody willing to do that? Anybody? Okay, don't, don't worry, Mario, we'll, we'll, we'll fit you in somehow. Don't worry, we'll figure it out. Okay, so we'll see. Okay, or anybody, is anybody not needing? Somebody would say like, oh, no, no, I don't, I don't need it. And um, maybe they can volunteer their space. No? Okay, I have a question. Um, Julio, Cesar, you were the one who volunteered your space for Carla, right? Uh, yes, that was me. Okay, all right, perfect. Okay, I have I'm a such a gentleman. Yes, I, I know that. Thank you. I really <laughs> appreciate that. Okay, all right, guys. No, um, you know what? Just my, since since uh, my 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 list is taking too long, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get you guys to get to win the group. When you return from the from the activity, I will finish off with the with the um, attendance, okay? So I'm just gonna create the breakout rooms right now. Um, let's see. All right. Um, Okay, so let's go for it. You can now join your group. Chair, you, can you share the slide, please? Oh, sure. It's in it's in your book, uh, but I can definitely share the slide. Okay, thank you. Yeah, it's um, this is the slide. Okay, so there you go. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. All right, so go ahead, join your groups, guys. Um, did it stop the groups? Oh, hold on. Okay, I see. All right, go ahead and join your groups. Do you guys have any questions? Any problems? Mm. I think no. Uh, okay. Warner, do you have any?
any problems? Uh, no, at the, no at the moment, teacher. <laughs> Estamos comenzando, como se dice, I, 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 I'm ready for... Workbook o trabajo, no sé, tarea. Go ahead and pretend I'm not here. Go ahead and work. Okay, teacher. Thanks. Okay, Warner. Okay. And number one, pick up the phone. Customer of company representative. Um, company representative. Okay. For example, customer, um, or, 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 or must be an, um, podría darnos un ejemplo porque estamos un poco confundidas. Okay, you want to ask me in English? For example, please. <laughs> <laughs> the, the homework. Okay. Okay. I don't so understand. Basically, what we want to know is what activities would the customer do and which activities would the company representative do. Okay, so um, for example, the first one, it says the first one is pick up the phone. Who picks up the phone? It's a executive the call of call center or call center executive. Okay, so the customer or the company's representative? Which one? The company's representative. Company's representative. Exactly. They pick up the phone because if it's customer service, the, the customer is calling the company, not the company calls a customer. Mm. Right? You understand what I'm saying? Yes. O sea, ¿quién, vaya, si es servicio al cliente, ¿el cliente llama al, al, represent, al representante o el representante llama al cliente? El cliente llama al representante. So, who picks up the phone? Uh, pick up the phone, pick customer. Up, uh, who, okay, what is pick up the phone in Spanish? Eh, como levantar el teléfono, agarrar el teléfono. Eh, es, bueno, es contestar. Contestar, contestar el teléfono. Uh -huh. So, who picks up the phone? Uh, company's representative. Exactly. They pick up the phone because a, a ellos son quienes están llamando, ¿verdad? No son uh -huh. ellos quienes llaman. Ok. Yeah, does that make sense? Pick up the phone and in and, and, and customer, ¿qué iría entonces? O no es que va relacionado. No, you have to, you are categorizing. Okay, you're categorizing. So the next, the next verb is? Um, understand. Understand. Who understands? Understand. Customer. Okay, the customer. Okay. Ay, como ir poniendo en la casilla que corresponde, entonces. Yes, categorize. Uh, understand. Uh, okay. okay. Right. Explain co customer. Any other questions? No, 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 no. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, complain is customer. Customer. 
el que se queja es el cliente. Um, five. Give, give, me, give me your personal information. Give me. Uh -huh, give me. No, can, can you give me? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. can, can, can you? Can give you me give me your, your information? No, personal information. Uh -huh. Personal information. Okay. Yes. El otro sería provide, provide one's information. Pero eso que es provide one's information. Yo lo entendí que era como dar mi información. Ah, vaya, entonces sería, yes, I can provide one person, no, I provide one's information. I can provide. Uh -huh. I can provide. One information. For example, for example, ¿verdad? I can provide one information. My mm -hmm. full name, eh, Maria, is eh, no. Ay, ¿cómo sería? My my full name is Mariela. Maria, Maria. Uh -huh. Ah, espérame, espérame Magali. So, okay. All you have to do is to, um, to, you don't have to say what it is. All you have to do is, is, um, is categorize who says what. Only that, just to categorize. Okay. Do you understand, Maria? Pregunté y me dijeron que teníamos que ubicar uh -huh. Uh -huh. las palabras de acuerdo a lo que hace como el, el cliente y el... Y yeah, el to categorize, categorizar. Ajá. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Ok. Ay, sí. Ok. 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 Sí, Mariela. Sí. Sí, nosotros perdidas, pero bueno. Yeah, it's very easy. <laughs> Bye, entonces. Sería. Um, um, pick up the phone. I'll Eso sería. Customer. Uh -huh, no, creo. Customer. Sí, es customer. Uh -huh. Pick the phone. Yeah. Pick up the phone. Uh -huh. Understand uh, the customer, también. Mm, no, customer, y explain perdón, perdón, sería perdón. company. ¿Hola? Eva, customer es uno, ¿verdad? De cliente y company es representativo. Rep, representativo ah, es es el, 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 el agente. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ok, entonces la dos, ¿cuál era? ¿Dónde era? Uh, understand. Creería yo que sería, bueno, ahí podría ser de los dos. Remember to keep, keep it in English, right? Try to always practice your English. Okay. Understand um, uh, is a customer and company's representative. Customer need understand. Well. Y ahí me quedé. Are you guys finished? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. All right, so you ready to categorize them? Yes, because uh, uh, bueno, bueno, uh, I, I think that some words are in customer and company's representative. Okay. Uh, for example, in the case of pick up the phone, yeah. customer needs pick up uh, the phone to call to the company representative and the company representative needs to uh, pick up the phone to answer the call. Right, although pick up the phone normally means answer, answer the phone. 
okay? Mm -hmm. That's normally what it means. But yes, you're right that there are some activities that it can be by for both. Mm -hmm. okay. That's true. And understand too. Uh, both right. parts exactly. need to understand the, the problem mm -hmm. exactly. uh, and explain. Uh, a complaint, I think, is only the customer. Um, help for us is only company's representative. Which one? Help, number five. Right. Mm, and request information, uh, uh, the same. It's only for a company's representative. Uh -huh. okay. uh, get prices is for customer. Right. Uh, provides one's information too. It's for customer. Uh, assist is for a company's representative. And buy is for a customer. And call, uh, I, I don't know, uh, uh, we think that call is for both parts because uh, a customer call to company's representative, a company's representative call uh, to customer, for example, when you don't pay <laughs> or for tell the answer for a case that you, uh, share with with the company. I I think call is for both both parts. Right. Yeah. Um. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, that's good. Okay. All right. We're gonna discuss this in your groups. Okay. So I'll see you guys in the main group in the okay. main session. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, guys, um, so as you probably already noticed, um, they are, many of the activities there are probably already repeated, right? So not necessarily will you find it in just one category. Sometimes it could be in more than one category. Okay, so just keep that in mind, okay? All right, so what we're gonna do right now is, um, then let's, Let's uh, go over the answers. Okay. Let's see. Uh, teacher, I have to stand for a couple of minutes. I'll, I will be right back. I oh, got, I got actually, you just reminded do. me of something. Um, let me just finish off the, the, the attendance. Um, Carla Cano? It's okay, Julio. I, you can okay. go ahead because I already got yours. Um, All right, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Carla, Carla Khan is here. Okay, good. Um, Carla Noemi? Present. Oh, okay. One, no, 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 no. Oh, no. No, no, no. Carla Noemi. <laughs> okay, so Carla Noemi is not here. Uh, Manuel Alejandro? Manuel Present teacher. Ah, there he is, okay, all right. Are you having problems with the camera, Manuel? Oh, okay, there he is, okay, good. All right, uh, Manuel de Jesus. Present, present teacher. Great, okay, thanks. Uh, do I have Mariela? 
present. Great. Marvin? Marvin Wilfredo? I'm here, teacher. All right, excellent. And uh, Werner? Present, teacher. All right, great. Soyla Noemi? Present. Present. <laughs> <laughs> I see. Okay. Uh, and Yvonne? Present. Okay, good. Eh, creo que hoy, hoy hemos estado la mayoría. I see. Okay, good, excellent. All right, guys, so let's check the answers. Um, Teacher, a mí no me mencionó. No veo quién me está hablando. ¿Quién me está hablando? Fabiola. Ah, Fabiola. Fabiola, no la mencioné. No escuché, teacher. Es que la, no. anteriormente, es que lo que pasa es de que um, ya había pasado la lista, solo que se me había trabado ahí la, li, la, la ah. lista digital y entonces los que acabo de mencionar son los que no había pasado la lista anteriormente. Pero usted ah. no había pasado. Ok, ok. okay. Ajá. Sí, porque ya, ya tengo todos. Ok, all right, guys. Can you see? No, right? Can you see it or not yet? Yes. Yes, you can yes, see. Teacher. Oh, okay. Okay, good. Okay. All right. So let's start with the first one. Um, you can go ahead and just wait a second. Oh, my face or not. Just give me a moment. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, you see. All right. Um, so just I would like you guys to just go ahead, open up your microphone, and let me know what you guys think. Okay. So Let's start with the um, pick up the phone. Who would pick up the phone? Customer. Customer. Customer? The company's representative. Yeah. Um, I was I was explaining. I was explaining um, to other groups that although pick up the phone can mean uh, that you like you literally pick up the phone but it, it, what it also means is answer the phone okay so the only person that answers the phone in customer service is the company's representative because the customer is the one that calls right the cus the company's representative doesn't call the customer it's a customer that calls. So it's a company representative who answers the phone. So this would so this would actually be, this one would be in this category over here. Company's representative, pick up the phone. Okay. All right, sounds good, everybody? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Good. Let me actually just make this a little bit quick so you can see it better. Okay, All right, let's go to the next one, understand. Who would understand? Or both? Yeah, definitely both, right? They definitely have to understand different things, right? Um, maybe the customer needs to understand uh, what the company's representative's um, solution is going to be. And the representative would have to understand what the, what the, um, the customer's problem is, right? So both of them would have to understand. Okay. All right, next, <clears throat> explain. Who would explain? Both. Yeah, very good, I, I agree. Both of them would explain, why? Because well, the customer is going to have to explain the problem. And the company's representative is either going to have to explain the policies of the company 
or explain what the, what the company is going to do to solve the problem. So both of them would probably be explaining something. Okay. All right, next we have complain. Who would be complaining? Customer. Yeah, customer. definitely the customer would be complaining. I, I totally agree, right? Um, the customer representative would never be complaining uh, because that's their job, right? To listen to complaints. And, you know, so, and if they are, if the customers, the company's representative is complaining, they could probably lose their job. Uh, help, who would be helping? Company's representative. Right, definitely. It's a de the definitely the company's representative would be the one who'd be helping. The, the customer would never be helping. Right, that's not their job. Okay, next we have request information. I think both. Sorry? Both. Yeah. Definitely both, right? The customer would request information about um, maybe a product, right? Um, yeah, they or maybe the company's policies, et cetera, et cetera. And in the case of the of the company representative, they would also be requesting information, and they'd probably be asking information about. The, the like personal information, like the person's name, uh, maybe their, uh, what product they bought, et cetera, et cetera, right? Okay, so request information. Okay. All right, and who would be uh, getting prices? Customer. Customer. Right, definitely customer. Okay. The, the company representative would never be asking for um, prices. Provide one's information. Customer. Right, yeah. It, the customer would be giving them like their personal information, things about their name and things like that. Uh, the cust the company's representative not, would not provide the, their own information. They would be providing the company's information, not their own information. Okay. All right. Good. Who would be assisting? Companies. Company representative. Right. Which again is similar to help, right? Okay, so remember help or assist is the same idea. Okay. Um, who would be buying? Customer. Customer. Right. So, and who would be calling? Customer. Right, exactly. So see this, this here's the difference. Here's the difference between these two. Um, in this one, uh, remember when you said pick up the phone? Well, um, well, in this case, the one that picks up the phone is the company's representative. But why? It's because the customer was the one that called. Okay? okay so the customer representative would be calling and they would be picking up the phone. Who would be receiving? Customer. What would the customer be receiving? The customer. Customer receiving the assistance. Exactly, they receive the assistance. Um, they receive a product maybe, if they order it online, for example. Okay, receive. Oh, sorry. Uh, teacher. Yeah. Can you explain again the difference of pick up the phone and call? Sure. 
Um, yeah, just give me a second. I'll explain that. Okay, so the customer would be receiving, but you know what? The company's representative could also be receiving. Why? Mm -hmm. Why would the company's representative also be receiving? Okay. I'm back, I'm back. Oh, great. Excellent, thanks. All right, so what would the customer's representative be receiving? Any ideas? Well, for example, maybe the, com the, co the company's representative request that the customer send some information, like certain documents that maybe they need to send by an email or fax. So maybe they are receiving the documents from the customer. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah, so that's possibility. Okay, so sorry, yeah. what, was the, what was the question? Um, uh, could you repeat the question that you wanted me to explain the difference between what? Between pick up the phone and call. Oh, okay, all right. So pick up the phone normally means answer, okay? Answer the phone. So if you say, are you going to pick up the phone? Right? Um, it means, are you going to answer the phone? So for someone to answer the phone, it's because somebody calls you. So the customer would be the one placing the call. Leyos hacen la llamada, right? And the company's representative picks up the phone. Ellos Levanten el teléfono because they are answering the call that is ringing. Does that make sense? Yes. Any questions? No? No. Okay, okay great. Excellent. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to go on to the next part. Um, for this, we're actually going to be talking a little bit about um, okay. Oh, let me erase this. Let me erase the answers. Okay, there we go. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the simple past affirmative. Okay, uh, why do we need to know about the simple past affirmative? Because when we are talking about customer service, normally the customer is talking about the service they received in the past, right? Uh, they either bought a product or they got a service in the past. So many of the times when the customer is asked, is um, talking about the problem, they're gonna be using past verbs, okay? So let's talk a little bit about these past verbs. All right. Um, so, let's use the whiteboard here. Tell me when you can see the whiteboard. Can everybody see the whiteboard? Let me know, please. No. 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 You can't see anything? No. 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 Do you see something that's white? Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, okay. That's the whiteboard. No, yes. <laughs> that's the whiteboard. Okay. Um, all right. Do you see that now I'm starting to write? Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. Okay. Okay. Today we're going to be talking about simple past, but uh, specifically it's about the simple past affirmative. Okay. So these are all sentences that are affirmative. Okay. All right. So something you got to keep in mind is that. Uh, with we we need to understand that there are two types of verbs. Who remembers what other types of verbs that, that exist? There are two categories. The first one is <clears throat> the 
areas. Okay, the first one is regular. Regular verbs, right? Okay. And the second one is going to be? Irregular. Exactly, irregular. Okay, so we have regular verbs and irregular verbs. Okay. Now we're gonna start with the regular verbs because um, obviously they are, you know, regular, so they have a, a they have some rules to that we have to follow. Okay, so with regular verbs, and the good thing about uh, English is that uh, the majority of the verbs in English, like like let's say that I don't know, eighty, well, probably way more, like. You know, 80% or, or more of the verbs in English are regular. So that's the good news, right? Okay. So basically with regular verbs, we can have different rules. And the first rule that is the most common one is just adding the ED. Okay. Um, that's the most common verb. Sorry, the, the most common rule. It's adding ED. Okay, and examples of this would be, for example, uh, we can have the walk. Teacher. Yeah. I have to go to work. Oh, okay. Bye. Good evening. All right. Take care. Thank you. Uh, okay, so we have walk, play, work. Um, another one we could be um, oh my goodness. Um, this could be oh, I'm, I'm stuck right now. Let's see, walk, play, work. Uh, I'm thinking about one more. Um, Watch. Oh, I know. Bye. I know. Drive. Huh? Drive. Bye. Bye. Oh. Sorry? Bye. To buy, buy something. Uh -huh. Oh, no. Buy is not a regular verb. No. Um, no. No, 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 I wouldn't. Oh. Bye. Cry. Play. Yeah, cry. Yes. But I just want, I, I want one that finishes the ED. Um, let me see. Ah, okay, there you go. All right, so verbs Pause. like this, verbs like these, all you're going to do with these ones is you're going to be adding ed. Okay, that's it. So we have walked. Okay, walk. Played. Worked. Added, and that's all we're going to do to create the to create the simple past of affirmative for the regular verbs. And these ones we're just going to add ed. So walked, played, worked, added. Okay, sounds good. Yes. Okay. The other one, the other the other category would be to just add a d. Okay, um, and these are verbs. The, these are verbs that finish in E at the end, okay? Um, so verbs like, for example, complete. Complete, dance. Um, so complete, dance. Um, Uh, bake. Yeah, bake would work too as well. Bake. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So these are uh, verbs that uh, finish in e, as you can see. Okay. Um, could also be like a, the um, debate. Debate. 
Um, so verbs like this, all you're gonna do with these ones is you're going to be adding a D. Simple as that, you're just gonna add the D after. So we're, in, we're gonna end up with like a completed, danced, baked, debated. All right, sounds good? Yes. Yes. Any questions about these ones? No. No, teacher. Okay. The other one is when we have to add IED. And why do we add IED? The reason is because the verb finishes in a consonant and Y. Okay. Verbs like, for example, uh, try. Or, um, or cry, or apply, okay? Um, or deny, okay? Do we understand these verbs? Yes. Yeah? Okay, so what, we, what, what happens with these ones, if you notice, all of these finish in... All of, them all of them finish, actually, you know what, I'm going to change. Okay. Modify. So I, I'm just, I just did it for a reason. It's because I want you to see that there are different um, consonants. We have F, R, L, and N, right? All of these are different consonants. So they finish in a consonant and Y. So what's gonna happen is when this happens is we're going to be eliminating the Y, okay? And we're just gonna end up with a consonant. Eliminate the Y, end up with a consonant. Eliminate the Y, end up with a consonant. Eliminate the Y, end up with a consonant. Okay, and what you're gonna end up doing is you're going to just add the I, E, D. Okay. I E D. Oops. Okay, so example modified, cried, applied, denied. Okay, and that's how you make it. Now, be careful because it's not all the verbs that finish in Y. For example, in the case of play, notice that play finishes in a Y, but we do not put in this category. And the reason is because play finishes in a vowel Y, not a consonant Y. Do you see that? Yeah? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. And then we have the last category is when we double, Double consonant plus ED. Okay? So what does that mean? What this means is that when we, well, for example, verbs, these apply to verbs like these ones, like stop, stop, Run. Oh no, sorry, sorry, not run. Stop. Um, Accept. Uh, no. Double consonant. Accept, did you say? Right. Accept. A C C E P T. Like this. Right. Do this. Uh, no, no, not this one. No. no okay. Okay. I'm. I'm going to explain in a moment. I'm going to explain why. Okay. Um, for example, we have um, yes. a refer. Oh no, is it refer? No. Let's, let's forget about that one. Um, 
Second, okay, stop. Cut. No, oh, no, cut. No, because it's hold on. Double consonant prefix or suffix? Sorry, double consonant in the beginning and in the, in the um, like prefix or like suffix. Oh, um. I will explain in a moment. I'll explain in a moment. Just give me one second. Okay. Uh, like, for example, plan. Okay. That I, 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 you will see what I mean by double consonant because I, I think I, I think you guys are getting a little bit confused. So I will explain in a moment. Um, uh, okay. We have plan. Uh, Play. Huh? Play. Play. No. 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 Sorry, what, which one did you say? No. Okay. Um, all right. So we have like um, wrap. 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 Yeah, wrap. Yeah, that works too. Wrap. Yeah. Okay. All right. So these, with these verbs, we're going to have a double consonant and ed. Now, why, what do I mean by double consonant? What I'm saying is that the last verb, sorry, the last consonant, the last letter, we're going to double it. But why do we double it? The reason is because the verb follows a rule. And the rule is, it's a rule that I like to call one, one, one. And it, what it means, one, 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 means okay. one okay. syllable, which is like sop, plan, okay. rap, rap. Only one syllable, okay? So all of these finish in one syllable. Todos esos son una sola sílaba, right? Stop, plan, rub, rap. One syllable, right? Yeah, do you see that? Yes. Right, right. In the case of sprout, what is the double consonant? Oh. oh, okay. Just give me a second. Give me a second. And then uh, we finish in one vowel. For example, in the case of, um, of stop, the vowel is O. In the case of plan, the vowel, the vowel is A. In the case of rub, the vowel is U. And in the case of rap, the vowel is A. So they finish in one vowel and they finish in one, one consonant. So we have stop, plan, so stop is a B, plan an N, rub a B, and wrap a P. So they all finish in one vowel and one consonant. So do you see that? All of these follow the same rule. The rule is one, 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 one syllable, one vowel and one consonant. Do you see that? Is that clear for everybody? Or no? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? One syllable, one consonant. Yeah, one syllable, okay. one consonant, and one and one vowel. Okay? And so what we do when I'm talking about the double consonant, I'm talking about the rule, not that these have a double consonant. The rule is that we're going to be adding a double consonant. So in the case of stop, I'm going to add a double consonant and the double consonant is P. I'm gonna add a P. Okay. And I'm gonna add ED. Like that. In the case of plan, I'm going to add an N because that's a double, a, the consonant is an N, and then I'm going to add an ED. In the case of rub, I'm going to add a B because the last consonant is a B, and then put ED, rubbed. And in case of wrap, I'm going to put a P because the last, the last um, letter is a, is a consonant P, and then put ED. And there you go. 
that becomes now a double consonant. We have PP and N, BB, PP. Does that make sense? Yeah. 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 So these are the rules for regular with the regular verbs. So if you want to create uh, the simple past affirmative of regular verbs, that's it. That's all you got. Those are the four rules. You're either going to add ed, a d, an ied, or a double consonant plus ed. Okay. Now with irregular verbs, the irregular verbs are different because the, the word tells you, the, the word tells you that it's irregular. So there's really nothing that we can do to tell you, oh, this is the rule, right? A rule does not exist, okay? So all you gotta do is basically learn it by heart. For example, some regular verbs are, for example, be, okay? Or somebody say buy, buy is also an irregular verb. Verbs like catch, do, um, eat, drink, um, uh, verbs like, um, for example, get, go, eh, find, bring, sorry, bring, bring, yeah, eh, swim, um, eh, could be, uh, swim. Hold on. Run. Swim, run, mm -hmm. run, right, um, oh. eat, ah, yes, yes, eat is right there, uh huh, very good. Um, could be, for example, um, um no, hold on. Um, sleep, sleep, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, make, read, uh, there, I am right there, uh, sing, uh, um, let me see what else. Um, catch. 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 Um, yeah, catch is right there. Mm -hmm. um, could be also a. Calm. Um, drive. Et cetera, et cetera. And I'm not going to go over all of them because obviously the list is long. There's actually about 200 words that are irregular. So the list, I'm not going to go over all of them. I just want you to understand that these are the irregular verbs. And to be able to identify, um, to be able to remember them, there's actually no rule. You just have to, what was like, uh, we have to learn them. We, by memorizing, that's all we can do, okay? For example, what is the past of B? Who knows what is the past of B? Was, was, uh, where. That's right. It, we're gonna be using was or were depending on um, if, it's, if it's I or the subject, right? If it's I, he, she, it, it's gonna be was. And if it's, uh, if it's you, they, we, it's gonna be were. By, past the by is? Bought. 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 Pass of catch is? Bought. Catch Pass of do? Of. Did. Did. Pass of eat? Ate. Ate. Oh, sorry. Eight. Pass of drink? 
Drunk. Drunk. Passive get. Got. Got. Passive go. When. 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 Passive find. Found. 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 Passive bring. Bring brown. Brought. Passive swim. 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 Passive run. Run. Ran. Passive right. Wrote. 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 Okay, good. Passive sleep. 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 Right. Mm -hmm. Passive make. Me. 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 That's a read. Um. Red, which is red. the same, the same except that you pronounce it different, right? This is read and this is red like the color. Okay. Sing, pass of sing. Song. Sang. Dance. Pass of have. Have. Add. Pass of ring. Uh, ring, ring, ring. Rang, passive drive, drove. Okay, oh. so those are some of the regular verbs. Now, like I said before, you can't, there's no rule to it. You just have to memorize it. But something that will help you to remember them is this. So there are basically three categories for the regular verbs. The categories are verbs that completely change, like be changes completely like to was or were, or for example, go changes completely to went. Okay, so those are some of the verbs that change completely, like you, you know, they're, they're totally different. And then there are the verbs that, um, or like, for example, buy, buy ca and catch, they change completely, buy becomes bought, catch becomes caught. And then there are verbs that just change one letter. Either you replace it by another letter or you eliminate it. Verbs like, for example, get. Get, you just change the E to an O. Verbs like uh, swim changes the I to an A. Run changes the U to an A. It's, it's right changes the I to an O. And then there are the verbs that don't change at all. Okay, for example, verbs like um, read, where it's the same, they just have different pronunciation. And there's actually another one, which is like, for example, verbs like put, okay? So put is another one, the passive put is put. Okay, so that, that could be another, another example, right? A verb set um, that they don't change, okay? All right, so those are basically the, the three categories that exist in the regular verbs. And you can use that to remind you. Um, so if you do not understand, you don't remember what the irregular verbs are, you can learn them in those three categories. The categories are verbs that completely change, verbs that change only one letter by replacing one letter or by eliminating or adding a letter. And then there are verbs that stay exactly the same. All right, so that's it, guys. Any questions so far? No. Okay, guys, so that will be all for today. Um, as I promised you, I'm not gonna leave any homework. The only homework that I am going to leave is for you to finish the, um, the homework. Uh, the homework is uh, for, um, Basically, you're going to be finishing um, the homework number two and the midterm. So those are the things that I need you, need me, need, need you guys to finish um, in the platform for tomorrow. Okay, I will be checking uh, before finish. the class. All right. So that's it, guys. Um, take care, and I will see you guys tomorrow. All right. And if there's anybody that wants to stay after for any extra practice, I am still going to be here. Okay, so take care guys. See you.
Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. Have a good Thank night. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow.